Hi, Braintech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest Patch Tuesday B release security update for both Windows 11 25H2 and Windows 11 24H2, which is KB5068861. And the update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. Now, as you can see, once the update has been applied, because it is a compulsory mandatory update, the OS build for 25H2 is bumped up to 26,200.7171. And if you're still running 24H2, that'll be 26,100.7171. Now, just on a quick side note, I still see that Microsoft is using the simplified Windows update titles which apparently they were going to change. So obviously they haven't decided to change that just yet because we used to get the longer titles, which by the way, I ran a poll asking you guys, which do you prefer, simplified or longer? And the majority of you said you prefer the longer Windows Update titles on the Windows Update page. So interesting stuff. Now, first and foremost, the update addresses security issues for both 25 and 24H2. So just a quick recap as to what's been patched. First of all, for 24H2, there are 35 vulnerabilities that have been patched. And for 25H2, there are 36 vulnerabilities that have been patched. And they both have two critical vulnerabilities that have been fixed. Critical being your highest rank vulnerability, so important security fixes. And those critical vulnerabilities are listed as GDR plus remote code execution vulnerability and a DirectX graphics kernel elevation of privilege vulnerability. So 35 for 24H2 have been fixed and 36 vulnerabilities for 25H2 have been patched. Now over and above the security updates that have rolled out, this security update contains fixes that were part of this update, KB5067036, which was the optional bug fix update that rolled out for both versions of Windows 11, 25 and 24H2 towards the end of last month. And I did post a whole video on that update. I'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information, but a very quick recap for the purpose of this video, just focusing on some of the key highlights. Now, first of all, the new start menu started rolling out. Now I haven't received it. I'm still seeing the old one. So these are obviously still on a gradual rollout. But nonetheless, just a quick recap. The update includes the new redesigned start menu. And I have posted quite in depth, so I'm not going to get into that too much. I have posted quite a lot of videos on the new start menu. But basically, it gives you a toggle to turn on the phone link widget to the side, the companion to the side of the start menu. You've got a scrollable show all section. You've got a recommended section that can be removed and you can have a list view, a grid view, or a category view as displayed in this screenshot, but I have posted on that quite in depth, so just a quick recap. The update also adds three new voice access features. If we head into our settings, accounts, email and accounts, the section is now called your accounts. And I see that has finally rolled out in my region, your accounts. If you are running a Copilot Plus PC, it includes seven new click-to-do features. It does include file explorer features and fixes. Check the video out for more information. It includes new battery icons with the battery percentage and the different colors display the different state of the battery and you've got your percentage, which you can turn on and off in settings. I still haven't received that yet, so still on a controlled rollout. And the same icons will appear on the lock screen, which I actually think is a very nice move, especially that battery percentage. It also includes Windows update improvements, fixes display and graphics issues, and a lot more. As mentioned, the video will be linked. Go check it out. So if you didn't install KB5067036 at the end of last month, it will be carried over into this Patch Tuesday update. Now, over and above that, Microsoft has also rolled out a couple of fixes, bug fixes with this update. And I'm just going to go through these quickly. The first is for, the first two are for gaming, where the update addresses an issue that affects gaming handheld devices, with Microsoft saying that these devices were unable to stay in lower power states, which caused faster battery drain. And the next fix is it addresses an issue on some handheld gaming devices, where after signing in using the built-in gamepad, 
The controller might not respond in apps for about 5 seconds causing a delay. That's been patched. There's a storage fix where the update addresses an issue that could cause some storage spaces to become inaccessible or storage spaces direct to fail when creating a storage cluster. And here's an important one. Microsoft fixes a system utilities known issue for the task manager where the update addresses an issue where closing task manager with the close button didn't fully end the process, leaving background instances that could slow performance over time. And this might occur after installing the optional update from last month, KB5067036. So nice to see that that has finally been fixed. And then there's a voice access fix where the update addresses an issue in voice access where it failed during initial setup if no microphone was connected and the voice model was installed. And there's a Windows management fix where the update addresses an issue where selecting the desktop could unexpectedly open task view. And then there's a network fix taking place under the hood. So guys, that's more or less what's new in the latest Patch Tuesday security update for both Windows 11, 25 and 24H2, KB5068861. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.